Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for TouchHero.com. Today, we're going to be reviewing uh, an app called Go to My PC. Now, you may have heard about this service. Um, it's traditionally uh, built for people trying to access their their home computers from from other places, maybe their work computer from other locations. Now, they have developed an app for the iPad as well. Actually, it's in the, on the iPhone as well. Um, the app is free, but the service costs nine, $9.95 a month. Now, again, if you are just checking it out, maybe it's not for you, but if you're a business person that will require to be, uh, maybe you need to you know, check your something on your desktop, you may want to consider that app. Actually, I do pay for that monthly. I do use that quite a lot. Anyway, here's the app. Let's go to it. Now, I have my account with them already, which I have already logged in. If I go to my computers, I can see that I have one computer um, on the list, and I called it Dell. Um, now, what I can do is I can just hit connect, but before that, just make sure that you have the the application running, the, the Go to My PC application running on your desktop. It has to be there, otherwise you won't be able to see this. Otherwise, here's what you see. Let's exit here. I'm just gonna go to my desktop. I'm gonna exit for a second. And if I go there, I should no longer be able to Let's refresh this. See, it shows as offline because I have disabled in my desktop. Now, if I enable that again, okay, now I have it running on my desktop. If I refresh, it says connect. I'm gonna hit connect. I have to enter the password that I have set up. It's trying to connect to my computer. Let's see, it should come up at any time. Okay, now it's prompting for a password. And here I've entered my password. It shows uh, a few instructions of, on how you can move around your desktop with the iPad. Now, my desktop has a big screen, so you will really need to pinch here to be able to see things a little bit more clear. I'm just gonna close this and I'm gonna pinch and open an editor here in my desktop. Now, here is uh, an editor. You can hit this little arrow at the top. You can request the keyboard. And now you can, I'm just gonna maximize this a little bit more, pinch a little bit more, and you can type in. And again, I'm typing in my Windows desktop. This is available for Mac as well. Now, I can, again, pinch again, move, to different applications in my taskbar. And because my monitor is quite, has a big resolution, I have to keep pinching. So I wouldn't say that this is uh, something that you want to be uh, doing extensive, extensive work on it, but it's definitely an app that you can quickly reach out to your desktop and see if something there, maybe a document that you need to upload. Again, there are a few other options here. You can also request errors. You can you see I'm on my emails. I can just hit and see the the arrows now going up, going down. And what else we have there? We have settings. So quite a nice app. I use it quite a lot when I'm on the run. And if I open here, okay, you see, but I have to pinch because the resolution gets a little bit on the way. And here's the pricing. Go to my PC, $9.95 a month. Now, just to let you know, there are alternatives. That I think there are free alternatives out there. You may want to do some research on that, but if you're a business guy, this is a good, good option. Okay, that's it for now. Quick review on Go to my PC for the iPad. Thanks, bye.